everyone, my name is Bree, and I'm the Community Science Specialist at the Pacific Grove Museum of Natural History. I hope you guys are enjoying Day of the Dino today. I'm going to show you a craft. Uh, we're going to make our own dinosaur bones with hopefully stuff that you have laying around your house. There's only three simple ingredients that you'll need. First is flour, what I have here. Then I'll need salt, I have in this jar, and then a cup of water. Uh, so I'll go through the steps with you and you can create your own dinosaur bone. So first, we'll take two cups of flour. So I'm grab this. We'll have one, our mixing bowl. So we'll dump our two cups of flour in there. Then one cup of salt. Go ahead and measure out one cup of salt. We'll pour in our one cup of water right in there and then you're just going to mix everything together until it creates a dough. Now it's time to preheat the oven so we'll go ahead and preheat that at 325 and then we can start making our own dinosaur fossils. So now we have our oven preheated, we have our tray and our dough. So we'll go ahead and take little pieces and you can start creating your own dinosaur bones. You use your imagination. On the website there are the instructions and you can see um, some ideas of how to create a dinosaur bone, but I'm sure you'll know what to do. So just go ahead and create those and place them on your tray, however you think a dinosaur bone looks. Here's an example of the bones I made. Uh, please don't eat this. Technically, I guess you can, but the dough is just going to be super salty. Uh, so let's just leave it for something you can play with. And then we'll go ahead and pop them in the oven for 30 minutes. And then we'll let them bake all the way through. So the fossils have been in the oven for 30 minutes. I took them out now. And now I'm going to put them in my excavation bin. So now this is a time where we can cover our fossils up with sand and then we can search through them. I just got this jar. You can do any bin of any kind. I laid some sand on the bottom, put my fossils, as you can see here, nice and crunchy. And then I'm just going to cover them with sand on top. Once you cover them with, I'll cover them completely with sand, then you can take this outside or anywhere, and then you can just start digging right through. You can grab a paintbrush. Now you can be a paleontologist, dig through the sand, and see what kind of fossils you can find.